In this paper, we describe a method for rendering from unstructured lumographs. In this video, we show a number of examples demonstrating our system. This unstructured lumograph was created using a handheld video camera and computer vision techniques. Like a standard lumograph, the geometric proxy in this case is simply a plane. Note that because the images are roughly arranged along a linear path, there is only parallax in one dimension. Sixty source images were used in this example. Our algorithm is based on the observation that, when considering ray angles, the influence of each input camera varies smoothly across the image plane. For each vertex in an image space triangulation, we calculate how much of each source camera should be used. These camera weights are then linearly interpolated over the image plane. In this visualization, each camera is assigned a color, and the interpolated blending field is shown. In our next example, we first show the reconstructed blending field using only the projected camera centers as vertices. This reconstruction method, while simple, often fails to accurately capture the shape of the blending field. By evaluating the blending field at a grid of points, we obtain a better approximation of the true field. In this example, note the view-dependent highlights on the robot's leg and foot, and also the glossy desktop. This next example was created by moving a handheld video camera as the helicopter's rotors spun. The images from this single 30-second video sequence were calibrated in time using the phase of the helicopter's rotor. During rendering, a separate unstructured lumograph is constructed for each virtual time instant. Here is an example with only 36 cameras, but with a more complicated geometric proxy with 500 faces. We obtained our images from a car point surround video sequence and used the images to create a crude visual hole geometry proxy. In this rendering, the camera blending weights are computed at the vertices of the proxy, although the grid sampling technique can also be used. Here we show the edges of the geometric proxy that we use. Note that the proxy is fairly crude and is significantly larger than the car itself. In particular, the perceived silhouette of the car is due to the images and not the proxy. This next lumograph demonstrates the flexibility of our system. It was created by moving a video camera into the scene while it was mounted on a calibrated robot. The proxy is a simple four-sided tunnel, similar to a spidery mesh. Previous algorithms have difficulty with such camera configurations. In particular, here we show what happens when the camera blending weights are computed only at the epipoles. Here is the triangulation of the epipoles alone, which produces this interpolated camera blending field. Sampling the weights at only these points fails to capture the true shape of the field. By adding more sampling points, we see the correct structure of the blending field. In deep lumographs such as this one, it is important to properly consider resolution issues to avoid excessive blurring. Here we see rendering without considering resolution, which results in excessive blurring on the left wall and the ceiling. By taking account of resolution in our weighting functions, we can lessen the blurring. Here we see the rendering that does consider resolution.